Hey everybody, John here. I'm doing a string of Let's Plays right now, um, and uh, the one that I'm going to take last is Legend of Dungeon. Um, they just released Alpha Manitar 3, and uh, I'm going to play it. And uh, I'm not very good at it, but I love this game, and uh, you know, like any... And you know, like with any... Uh, roguelike, uh, you know, it's really good when you start, and you just need to play it to get better. So, uh, a little bit of the mechanic, what I just did there was I drank five beers, which gives you five experience, uh, right away, it takes five of your life, but, um, gives you the bonus of five extra experience to start, which is, uh, quite a lot of the way to your first level, which takes 20 EXP, so you're one-fourth your way there. So I took a five hit point loss for five EXP. I think it's a really good trade to start the game out and do that. Um, and I was just playing Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and these controls are all messed up. So, oh look, more beer. I didn't know there was beer all the way back there. Cool. So I will take the EXP loss or the hit point loss to gain the EXP. See, now I'm almost halfway to my next level, which is really useful. It only costs me nine hit points, a deal I would happily make in the beginning. All right. So, making my way through the dungeon. I immediately got destroyed by a bat. I suck. And as you can see, oh, got really lucky to get a bunch of apples in the beginning. That's really great. Apples restore your life. By the way, if you haven't played Legend of Dungeon, I seriously recommend you do. It's super fun. So one of the things I noticed in the recent update is that you die a lot less, or the game's a little bit easier, uh, or maybe I'm just getting better. Anyways, I don't seem to be dying as fast. Um, the drops are generally a little bit better. Um, yeah. Which is quite nice. And I should know to level two. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Come out of it pretty high health. I leveled. And I'm not too low on life. Like many roguelikes, uh, how well you do deter uh, is determined by sort of how good you are, and also by the drops that you get. If you get crappy drops, you will do a lot worse. But again, like all good roguelikes, it's all entirely random what you get, but it's almost always good stuff, one way or the other. in this game. I don't think I've ever gotten 18 before. Alright, like all roguelikes. It's random what the potions do. Yeah, 
And if two hands are on you, you can't move. They don't do any damage, but they do stop you. So if other guys were doing damage to you, it would be bad. Alright, I got a musketeer hat. Nice. Got extra defense now. It's always a good thing. Love it again. It's always good. That's actually one interesting thing about Legend Dungeon. The enemies will regenerate. Is it too bad? No fun. It's one of the things, sometimes I get a little twisted around because the Got a little bit extra defense. This is typically where I start dying. 
that's happened. Generally it's skeleton closets. Spray paint allows you to tag where you're at. Which is kind of a way to say you've been there. It's kind of handy. I am so much stronger than I was. I must have been strength potions. that spray paint. There's the way to use the end.
Safety through a plasma ball hat of awesome. everything up. Never got this hat before. It's pretty cool. Must have a small level. Got a magic book. Nice. That sucks. Created a skeleton. Bad attack. So actually, this attack. Where's that attack? That's right. It's a pet. Nope. Yes. Apparently, not all magic books are created equal or help. Really badly at that. Anyways, Legend of Dungeon. Don't jump into the lock. 